Salam guys, hi everybody <laughs> So everybody, well not everybody A lot of people were asking me about my journey in Islam And um, I figured I might as well just do a video on this And then refer everybody back to the video Because I can speak a lot Everybody knows that <laughs> And I don't want to send 3 minutes long voice notes to everybody So I'll just do this instead so it in a few days time i will be um i would have reverted for i would have reverted about uh three years ago let's put it like that i'll be a muslim for three years so um in 20 2020 um yeah so i asked so I, I told him like we obviously intend on making or taking things to another level basically if you know what i mean because we are definitely serious and whatever so i told him that at the time we were of different religions and i needed to know how that would play a role in our life you know so i asked him no i told him that i asked him that i mean and then he said he sat down with me and he, he asked me questions regarding my religion and obviously i was confident in answering because i thought i knew a lot <laughs> but um yeah he asked me questions and some of it i couldn't respond to because i don't know actually i don't know why i was so shocked and then that same night i went home and i went to go google like those questions that he asked me and i went to go google things regarding his religion at the time um islam so i i learned a lot about islam as i was googling obviously i didn't do it with the right intention at the time because my intention was to retaliate with my argument of course um but that didn't happen so as i started studying um islam i didn't only want to study that i studied hinduism buddhism jainism judaism everything and um i started with hinduism because yeah so when i started with that i came across um a verse or whatever you call it in the veda um where they state that there will be any an illiterate foreigner that will come and he will be the teacher of a thousand of thousands of people and then they said they the name they his name will be uh, muhammad so that struck me of course because i wouldn't expect that to be you know in, in the vedas but um, nevertheless i went on to buddhism and then there was a lot of verses that struck me as well but there was one that actually caught my attention like yo <laughs> Um, so this one was, there was this Buddha that stated um, that he is a he is a Buddha of of hundreds. He's a leader of hundreds of people, but there will come a Buddha after him, Ma Maitra Yana something like that, um, and he will lead thousands of people. Um, and then they give descriptions of this Buddha to come after him, and they say that he will have light in his face, um, nur in other words, and. There's a lot of um, things that that basically describes the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, um, I was like, okay, fair enough. But what does the Bible and, you know, the Torah and whatever have to say about this? Because that was what I was also interested in. Um, so I did my research there and I found a lot of things that was interesting to me because obviously I didn't know much about it at the time. And um, I didn't know <laughs> that Muslims at the time, I did not know that they believed in um, Jesus. Peace be upon him. So I, I was like confused because I had a lot to learn at the time. And then I did my research and I came across you know the information and it stated that they do actually and i was like oh so the problem that i see with a lot of 
people that I know is that they are afraid to revert because of what family has to say or their parents or um, yeah there's a lot of reasons but that's the main one but you see with me I didn't care um, I knew what I wanted and I I went for it in my mind I was going to tell my parents and if they were going to kick me out if they were gonna, not going to look at me the same it didn't matter to me because all that mattered to me was my relationship with you know the almighty so um i felt no i felt obviously i you know took my shot i had to do that and in that moment it was i can't even explain the feeling that i was emotional i was happy i was everything everything i can think of it was just amazing but anyways um so um i found my daddy first actually <laughs> and i was a bit nervous but i'm but i'm always confident so i didn't still overthink it like yo should i shouldn't i just picked up the phone i said screw it if he says he doesn't approve if he, he doesn't approve he doesn't if he does he does is what it is <laughs> so i told him and he said look he doesn't necessarily agree but if it's my decision then he respects it you know so i said thank you like that's all i wanted um and then he asked me the same question that everybody else asked is it for sale and then i said no it's not so with my mother i didn't have to tell her directly she knew because i would always ask her i started asking her questions about christianity and islam and she would see me um watching videos on youtube and studying every night the difference between the two religions and she knew about soil so obviously you know she could put two and two together <laughs> um and i knew she knew but didn't really bother me because i wanted her to know obviously um and then my other family i don't know they just they just knew i think my mommy told everybody and my daddy told everybody because everybody just suddenly knew that i changed my name and everything so i'm busy changing it on my id as well like i'm quite serious <laughs> um yeah so obviously getting to the part now with the, the struggles on the journey